When you gotta be like, am I willing to die for this? Mm. I'm not. I'm I not, think, will, I'm I, not I willing think, to die I think for dying for your wife and your family, I can understand. Because it's dangerous. It's not fearful. It's a dangerous. Kids, situation. yeah. Wife and wife too. Wife, you no. Her. Look, you bought her though. I'm not. I mean, like once you once you. I'm get, not dying for my wife, my nigga. What are you doing in a dangerous situation? If me and my wife are running because two are shooting at us and she trip, I'm gonna keep running. You and your wife. Me and my wife. Y'all already know what's going on. We're in the building, man. As soon as y'all get up there, make sure y'all smash the like button and say what number like y'all is in the comment section, man. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail, man. We talking about Q50, man. Q50, Trap City, EBE. We talking about that shit. Then we talking about this podcast, man. Somebody got to ask the question on the show, podcast, man. You know, a crazy question. We going to... We gon' we gon' we gon' talk our shit about uh, the question that they said. Give our answer. You know I'm gonna ask for y'all answer in the uh, in the chat too. But now let's talk about Q50 first. So everybody know, man. Q50 got booked on July 30th, and he ended up getting out on August 2nd. You know, just in time for his birthday. Like you know, his birthday on August 6th. So he just got out just in time for his birthday. But whole time. You know, everybody know, man. Y'all probably heard of G-M-E-B-E. You know, that shit is, uh, that shit split up. You got G-M-E, and then you got E-B-E, and then, you know, they end up coming together to make G-M-E-B-E. The whole time we, you know, some E-B-E members spoke on Q50, and some Trap City members spoke on Q50. Everybody saying that that man was in PC while he was up in there, you know. They said that he made himself throw up, put his head, put his finger down his throat, made himself throw up, and you know, they said after that they ain't see him. The whole time, word got back that he was in PC the whole time. And then, you know, he ended up getting a bond and he ended up coming home and shit like that, you know. So the whole time, you know, Q50, he denying that shit. Of course, he gonna deny the shit. But I could see it, fool. He just turned 20. He was 19, his ass 19 years old, just turned 20. You know, he a shorty. He ain't really on shit, you know. He gained a name off the guns, bro. Like, and when you in jail, there ain't no guns. So it's like, you know, like it's, it's real life gladiator school. I ain't gonna lie, fool. Like, I could see Q50 getting treated up in jail, fool. Treated like a hoe, smacked around, all type of shit. You got, you got, goddamn it, real monsters up in there. And they still be having pressure put on them. So just imagine if you come up in there, scrawny, little as hell, not on shit. Little light skinned pit bull looking like, goddamn it, Chris Brown with dreads. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then don't, and then the streets know you got a name. Like I ain't gonna lie, fool. Like Q50, he got a real name. Like he got a, he known as one of the shorties who gonna come get you up out of here. So it's like, you know, phone them gonna want to put hands on you. Phone them gonna want to do something to you just off that, fool. You know, it be jealousy that bro. I ain't gonna lie, the type of name that Q50 got, it will, you know, make. Other people who ain't got them names like jealous or whatever, because you know that's the type of shit that the trenches honor, you know, that type of shit. So it's like they see your name just buzzing, holding all this weight, ringing all these bells, and you a shorty, and now we in jail, ain't no guns up in here, and I feel some type of way because my name man, don't hold as much weight as yours, and you young, you young as hell, little as hell, you know what I'm saying? I could crush your face with one hit types, they finna get on that with you, bro. You know, especially if your homies ain't up in there. So it's like, I know people would be like, man, Trap City, they only saying that because they, you know what I'm saying, they into it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That could be true, but whole time, fool, like, even if it wasn't Trap City, without, take Trap City out the equation, I still could see that shit. I still could see Lil Q50 in, in PC, bro. I could see him being a PC. Like, yeah, man, but, uh, yeah, also EBE, Trap City and EBE, like, you know, whole time these blocks that he into it with, but, you know, outside of outside of that shit, I definitely could see Lil Q50 being in uh, PC, man. And whole time, 
you know, AMF Visuals, his manager and shit. So if he got a bond, he definitely would be able to get out because AMF Visuals got that bag behind him. Like Q50, he profitable. Like I said in my last video, he doing 500K views on music videos in 10 days. Like Q50 profitable right now. So like all the clout that Lil Jeff had went to Trap City Rob and Q50. Vert ain't really getting under the clout from Lil Jeff. Like how Rob and Q50 got that shit. So it's like, if he got a bond, I could see AMF coming to get him. But the whole time, you know, his shit was saying no bond, man. So it's like, when he got out, his shit was saying no bond. So when he got out, it instantly made me and a lot of other people think like, man, yo ass done told on some shit to get, come home and shit. And time for your birthday, look. His birthday was, he got, his ass got released on August 2nd, but his birthday was on August 6th. So it's like, you know, he had a lot of reasons why he would want to, you know, get up out of there. Of course, just not be in the jail, just in general for one. But then my birthday in a few days, God damn it, I'm a perk head. I need to get home and do these perks type shit. God damn it, um, I'm little as hell. I done did some shit to folding them relatives up uh, in the streets, and now I got to see them in jail. They finna beat the shit out of me. So it's like, you know, I can see him telling too, fool. I can see AMF visuals coming to drop a bag on his bond and get him up out of here, and I can see him telling just to get up out of there. They going to kill his little ass up in there. I'm folding them. So it's like, you know, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think uh, they telling the truth Q50 was up in PC or y'all think they ass capping? You know, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. You know, if y'all made it to this point, make sure you smash the like button and say which number you like you is in the chat and shit like that. Now, let's talk about this podcaster, man. It was a podcaster. I was scrolling on my social media and I came across this video of this podcaster. And, you know, the question came up of would you die for your wife? They was asking the dude, would you die for your wife? He instantly come out and say, no, hell no. You know, his ass, he instantly, that's what he say. So it's like the 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 uh, the uh interviewer asked him some more questions. He like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you mean? You know, so dude get to elaborating like, look, bro, if some people were shooting at me and my wife, chasing us down, shooting, and we running, and my wife fell, I'm going to keep running. That's what he said with a straight face to the interview man. And it's like, you know, the interview man was like, damn, bro, what you on, bro? Like, why the goddamn it? You know what I'm saying? What you, what you hate your wife or something? Like, what you, what you and your wife going on? Got going on? Like, you know, I ain't going to lie, fool. I feel like his ass feels some type of, either he feels some type of way about his wife or he feels some type of way about whatever, you know? The whole time, like, he ain't even say that he would have tried to save his wife. Like, that shit's crazy. You know, his ass, I ain't gonna lie, fool. You know, yeah, you know, a lot of people gonna look at that shit and be like, man, dude, that's a hoe. I ain't gonna lie, fool. I kind of felt that way. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is you on? Like, that's some hoe shit. You ain't even gonna try to save her what you marry a fool. You know? Like, I ain't gonna lie, fool. If I had a wife, and you know what I'm saying, like, like, obviously, it's that because I made her my wife. If if it wasn't that shit, she wouldn't be my wife in the first place. But so if I had a wife, you know, God damn it, I'ma try to save my wife, bro. On phone them, I'ma try to save my wife. Like, I'm not finna answer the question like how bro answered that shit. You know, like you know, you probably got some shit going on with your wife or whatever, cause you ain't even say that you would have tried to save her, none of that shit, fool. Like you could have been like, I'ma try to save her. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Or, or my wife died, but I, I tried to save her. You ain't want none. Of, you ain't saying none of that. You like, man, look, if she fall, I'm not trying to save her. I got to keep going type shit. It's like, damn, fool. Like, is you still with your wife right now? Is she watching this interview? Did she see this video? Like, God damn. Yo ass just, that don't need to be your wife then, fool. For real. If you want to know, you know what I'm saying? My true opinion of shit, you know. Like, I right, boom. God damn it, you running. You and your wife, y'all getting chased down by two gunmen. They shooting at y'all and shit. And your wife fall, and you try to save her. You know what I'm saying? Even if 
even if she get hit and die, or whatever, and you still get away, at least you tried to, you tried, fool. You ain't even talking about trying or nothing. Like, you just like, yeah, I'm finna leave her. She finna die. Like, that's crazy, bro. But, you know, I want to start a debate in the comment section with this one. So, look, man, y'all give me y'all an answer. Y'all give me y'all honest opinion. If, God damn it, two gunmen are chasing you and your wife, and you and your wife running, and your wife slip and fall, are you going to try to help or try to save your wife, or are you just going to keep running like Broden said? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all let me know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all answer in the comments, man. I'm fucking Look, everybody smash the like button. Uh, and say, if you made it to this point, smash the like button. Say what number you is. Uh, and drop location so we can shout out the way everybody from. Y'all already know what's going on. Make sure y'all watch all the way to the end of the video so y'all can see all the top supporters of the channel and ways where you can become a top supporter of the channel. Make sure y'all mess with all the links in the description from top to bottom, man. Y'all already know what's going on, man. I love y'all. Shot Rack Story Podcast. Before y'all get up out of here, do me the biggest favor and smash the like button, man. Y'all already know what's going on. I brought some money, y'all. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Look for them overstuff my blood and shit.